Good morning, Royals. This is my son, Ephraim. Ephraim, can you say hi? Hi. Uh, we saw a bunch of the chalk drawings yesterday, and Ephraim just had to try one. So here's our uh, version of our love chalk drawing. Did you enjoy doing that? What? Did you enjoy drawing that? Yeah. Yeah? What school do you go to? Weaver Academy. You do? Yeah. Is it by our house? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ephraim goes to our school over here on the east side of town, um, so he's not at Love, but still loves Lehman, right? Yep. Awesome. Should we do some the Pledge of Allegiance? Uh... Oh, it'll be great. Uh, today is Friday, March 27th. It's going to be a balmy 57 and not terribly sunny today, but still going to be a great day here in Tucson. If we could all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, that'd be great. You want to hold the flag? Yeah. Okay, hold it up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, bud. You want to hang out for the announcements? Um, yeah. All right. Let's see. What do we got going on today? I know we've had to cancel a bunch of events this year because of the coronavirus. Uh, and though it won't be the same, we are looking to see if there are any things that we can... Oh, and there's the sun. Maybe we have some hope. Here we go. Um, we're going to try and see if we can set up some virtual uh, assemblies, virtual things that we can do. Uh, for example, um, like to maybe do a virtual award ceremony for third quarter. Kids worked hard, we want to definitely honor that. Uh, so we're going to make some plans and see what we can put together. Um, Tenley had a great idea to maybe do some type of virtual talent show. Uh, we were getting ready to kickstart that, so I'll work with SWAT and we'll see if we can put something together. Uh, the gears are spinning and we're going to be meeting this next week with our leadership team so that we can put some things in place. Uh, this morning was supposed to be our Coffee with Carrie. I am still going to do that today. We're going to push that back to 11 o'clock and we'll be Facebook Live. Uh, and You'll be able to jump in, ask some questions. We can have a live little session later this afternoon or later this morning. I know our 8th graders are concerned about commencement and are especially concerned about the etiquette dinner dance. Uh, we're not sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, we are gonna make something special. Uh, we may all have to be six feet apart, but we are gonna work on that and we'll be communicating that to you as best we can. Thanks to all the kids and parents who clicked through all those extra um, kids on that survey. Uh, some of our families are pretty big and so I appreciate your patience with that and I appreciate you feed, uh, giving us that feedback. It's really important and it's going to help us make some decisions moving forward. So thank you for doing that. Our office hours will be open from Tuesday through Thursday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 to 12 to pick up and drop off any uh, activities or packets or homework that teachers have have sent out. Uh, it's really important though that you coordinate with your teachers. We don't want people just showing up on campus. Uh, we need to make sure that we know when people are coming. So if you could please coordinate with your teachers, that would be wonderful. Uh, plan book links should all have been sent out at this point. So please make sure that you click on the little lock in the upper left hand corner and pull that down, make that a bookmark. Uh, that way you'll be able to access that plan book every single day. You won't have to go digging through your emails. So use that. Uh, teachers, thank you for putting that together. Quick note about Google Classroom. Some of our teachers are using Google Classrooms right now. It's a great tool, but there is a feature uh, for marking work late. Um, I want to just explain a little bit. The program itself uh, marks assignments as late. That is not our teachers marking it and there's no way to turn that feature off. So our teachers are not going to be, see you, bud. Bye. Bye. Our teachers are not going to be marking assignments late in gradebook, in our gradebook. 
but the Google program itself will mark those assignments late. So I'm sorry for that. There's nothing we can do to turn that feature off. Uh, they won't be essentially marked late. However, it will look like they are. Uh, it's just something that we're gonna have to work through as we go through this week. We are meeting on Monday with all of the teachers uh, to make sure that we are continuing with best practices. We're gonna be talking about uh, how to go through collecting work and giving assignments. So, um, our teachers may be adjusting uh, some plans midweek next week just to include some things. Uh, so make sure that you're using that URL that was sent out from Planbook and make sure you refresh that regularly just in case something needs to change. Um, nothing will change for a specific day past 8 in the morning. So that's something that you can rest assured on. In our kids corner today, um, got a couple things. Ella and her sister sent in Fabulous Van Goghs to Mrs. Purvis's class, uh, Mrs. Purvis's email. Great Van Goghs, I love those. Um, Lilia, Wyatt, Henry, Grant, and Matthew started raising ducklings. Um, great activity family, I think that's awesome. Uh, you saw my chickens, my chickens on day one this week, and I'm excited to see that some more families are, are jumping into the, the home farm uh, atmosphere. And then lastly, uh, eighth grader Angelina, thanks so much for reaching out about high school. Uh, she's working on her high school application, so way to go. Keep it up. And that's our Kids Corner for this week. If you have more exciting things that you guys are doing, please send them in. Send in some pictures, send in some notes. Uh, got a couple other things uh, that just popped in my mind. Uh, Killian in kindergarten learned how to ride a two-wheeler without training wheels this week. Proud of you, kid. Uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Our words of wisdom brought to you today from Ralph Waldo Emerson. Emerson said, write it on your heart that every day is the best day in the year. Every day is the best day in the year. Ladies and gentlemen, these have been your royal announcements. I'm your principal, Mr. Carey. Together, we are, um, we are producing tomorrow's leaders today. Make today the best day of the year. Encourage one another and build each other up. I'll talk to you guys soon.